people. Good morning, people. Mm. Oh, today we got neighbors moving out. He shouldn't have been in that house anyway because he was a single soldier. His he, his wife left him when uh we first moved here. So why he in that big ass house by himself? I don't know. Yeah, I wonder who we gonna get this time. Oh my goodness. Y'all, my neck hurt. I fell asleep on the couch. And generally speaking, I don't like falling asleep on the couch. First of all, it ain't like it's a comfortable couch. And then you want to know who was on the couch with me that did not help the situation? Rocky. Yeah, Rocky was in the small of my back laying behind me, okay? Then James came down here like... 4 45 in the morning come i guess he was looking for me and he comes down here and how our sunroom is set up literally you can walk in here from two different directions right well he came up from behind me while i was laying on the couch scared the living shit out of me okay Rocky didn't growl Rocky didn't like give off no warning because I guess Rocky knew who that was right so y'all know ever since Megan told me she saw orb in my house mm -hmm. told you me and the spirits can live amongst one another long as you do you and I'm gonna do me okay mm -hmm. so I get up and I go get in the bed with him and literally he he's up anyway at five o'clock every morning don't care if it's Saturday or Sunday he is up at five and he was laying in the bed, I guess on his phone. And he thought he was gonna talk to me. Child, he was talking to my back. I was out, I was out. And I think cause I had just went to sleep like 3.30, something like that. I had just went to sleep. So I wasn't in the mood to be social on no level. My chick need they sleep, they need they sleep. Generally speaking, I get mine, I get my sleep. Now, let me let the little uh, fur baby in because he had to do. Wait. All right, y'all. Let me just go on and uh, get my frustration out. Those of you who have daughters will understand where I'm coming from. Those of you who have sisters will understand where I'm coming from. So, history, I've been dealing with this all my life. All my life. Okay, dealing with girls in my shit. Fuck, can I have some stuff to myself? Damn, I stay fussing. I can't, it, I can't even say how many hours of the day I stay fussing about where this, where's that, who got this, who got that, who moved this, I don't know. But then all of a sudden it magically appears. I have it bad. I have it bad. I had it bad with my sisters, but not so bad with them per se, but I experienced with them. That was my first taste of it. And then I had Jasmine and Jada. I guess I should take it as a compliment. They like actually really like be feeling their mama swag. However, leave my shit alone. Stop asking for things and you didn't ask permission. You don't ask permission, then that's when I have a problem. <laughs> told y'all and Jack Jasmine up on several occasions when she was younger and it did start around nah Jasmine started earlier Jada is just like starting this like in the past year but Jasmine it was strong at like the age of 10 like 9 and 10 it got strong little stuff will go missing then uh, you saw the whole summer the whole summer you saw her in my wardrobe mine with an exception of maybe about a couple of pieces that she purchased once she got a job so go figure why you changed your whole outfit was cute my whole argument was about not asking just going through my stuff and invading i, I just find it as like an invasion of privacy Okay, but the outfit that you had on was cute. So you can use it. You can wear it once it's what No, when you take it off, just go put it in my hamper. You can wear it because the outfit that you had on was cute. I want you to ask permission. Got it? Thank you very much. 
It's that simple. Ask permission. And if I say no, don't get mad. It's my shit. Mine. If you want stuff, all you got to do is ask. But it ain't about just asking now either. Your ass need to uh, be doing your chores. You need to be handling your business. School. Start back back uh, next week. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise him. Oh, praise him. Woo! Dinner to be back to me and Rocky. So, while she going to change her outfits and stuff, I think I'm about to change mine. Because, yeah, I might be giving them a little too much today. And I ain't got no bodyguard, okay? Because, like, all my back is out. Looking really fly. I'll, I'll take a picture and I'll show y'all what I looked like. Because I think I'm going to change, too. I'm telling you, I am really happy that I am on the raising of my last child. Today is one of them days, seem like she's having an attitude. So, I don't know what y'all might see today. So, just know, she been warned. Mm -hmm. Stink, I swear. Oh, y'all, she ain't grown. So, I made her go back in the house and get put on earrings, because I'm sorry, but... Uh, yeah, when you live in my house uh, and you are a chick whose ears are pierced, you will wear earrings. I'm sorry. So, as Jasmine, she'll tell you, but Jasmine grown now, so if Jasmine chooses not to wear earrings, that's on her. But Jada's still here, and like I said, I still got one more left. One more. God forbid, I pray to God that my sisters are able to raise their daughters and they be around and they in good health and they are living because I don't think I can do this shit again, okay? My patience is Paquito. Paquito. That's my patience. Okay, y'all. We are at a sushi restaurant and we are about to sample some different types of rolls and stuff like that. I've been really like wanting to like get into like eating sushi like that. Like I've been to a couple of sushi restaurants when we lived in Atlanta and then we moved about also that shit died. I stuck I was stuck at Publix. Okay, how about that? But Jada is also interested in trying it too. You just gonna sit in the corner and look like a monk. I told y'all, I already warned you, right? I've, you've been warned. All right, me and Jada's little snack. She said these was the dragon rolls, and these are the 3D special rolls. So, yeah. Introducing Jada to some little sushi. And we needed a spot. We were looking for something to eat yesterday, y'all. Yeah. We were limited just because we didn't feel like driving. Let me go and eat she get green. To give y'all the tea. Yep, then my drugs. I got tea, some water, and some 800 milligram uh, ibuprofen. Yeah. I don't know why I got them ibuprofen. Well, I have them because Mother Nature showed up yesterday. And I told y'all, I think the older I get, the worse my, like, I'll never have cramps. So I'll be glad if she finna turn her flow off. I'm happy. I ain't gonna sweat it. My mama say I'll be mad when that happen because somebody gonna start going through all kinds of changes. But I guess I'm gonna just deal with that when the shit happen, okay? However, y'all saw my tea, right? So I'm finna give y'all the tea, okay? I had a subscriber email me a question and I'm going to go ahead and read the question so that I can answer her question, okay? She says, so I currently talk to a gentleman who I look at as a friend because of his situation, but he tells me he is feeling me, but he lives with his baby mother who he claims he hasn't been in love with. He hasn't been in love with her for years, but because they have children, he wants to raise them because they are young, etc., etc. He did tell me they have sex because he feels he's not going to say no 
but he tells me all the time that he is going to have me and his woman so he can truly be happy again and move on with his life. Hold up, let me reread that. He tells me he's not going to say no, but he tells me all the time that he is going to have me and his woman so he can truly be happy again and move on with his life. Okay. Do you think I should listen to what he's telling me or move on with my life? It's difficult because he works with me and I normally don't mix business with pleasure and I haven't gave him and don't plan on giving him the cookies until I feel like he's truly feeling me and that's later in the future, more of a marriage because I'm a mother myself of three, of a three-year-old, but I left my baby father a year ago and moved on. What do you think? Girl, I got a disclaimer. There you go. Ready? Do you want to hear the truth? Or do you want to hear what you want me to tell you? I'm going to answer it for you. I'm just going to give it to give you the truth. Because clearly you're asking me for a reason. Girl, leave his ass alone. He do not sound like he is the business. Okay? First of all, he's still messing with his baby mama. He's still sleeping with her. Thank God you ain't giving him the cookies, okay? Thank God for that because, whoo, girl. Other women and sharing a man and sex don't mix. So, save yourself the trouble and save yourself the drama before you have any, okay? And I would just leave his ass alone. He living with his baby mama. Child boo, X, cut, let's just leave it alone. We ain't gonna eat. We ain't finna dwell on this no mo. You deserve better. Remember, I said know your worth, and clearly you're worth more than this right here. This some bull. Carry on. Some of the shit men be trying to tell women to get over on them just freaking baffles me. And what baffles me even more is women who believe shit. Okay. I ain't gonna tell y'all what's going on in a group that I'm in right now. Child, honey, it was tearing his shorty ass up. Dude still married. He living with his parents. He making a G a week. And he only been separated from his wife for a couple of weeks. What does that sound like? It sounds like the potential for the dough to open back up. If he, he can go back home. He ain't when he got him to another place. Staying with his mama. He making all his money every week. That's for Jesus month, okay? Child boo. That dude is gonna go back to his wife. And he's gonna get back with his wife right now. He out here uh, with a hall pass. Y'all saw that movie, right? Just taking advantage of the situation. And he is just trying to make sure he ain't in no dry spell right about now. So, dudes will tell you any freaking thing to keep they stuff in your panties, okay? A tearing her ass up during the group. I can't even say nothing. Wanna know why? Honey, because ain't no more. Ain't, they ain't said nothing that I wouldn't say either. So, to each his own. And they were like, run, honey, run. No good. Find you a man that ain't married, first of all. He ain't got no ties with a woman. The one thing for a man that has ties with kids, but when he's still married, that's that's called for grounds of, I'll cut you. Nobody wants to be in the I'll cut you syndrome, okay? Second, he comes with baggage. I wouldn't want a man with baggage. Neither should you. So, honey, oh, if she watch this, run. Run, fa, 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 I have a review about this BS later because this some dumb shit right here. Reality TV ain't reality TV no more. All right. And on, on that note, peace out. Talk to y'all later.